If you use Pentax Forms Lens Database to look up Pentax lenses, which you totally should, it's awesome, then you'll notice this user score on each lens. This is an average score that covers things like sharpness, aberration, autofocus, etc., and it gives you this total score at the end for the lens, which shows here. According to this scoring system in the database, the Pentax DA Star 16 to 50 mm f 2.8 lens is the least liked Pentax DA Star lens. So naturally that piqued my curiosity and I had to try one out. Welcome back to the Snappiness YouTube channel. Now, why would I pick up a lens that I knew was so unliked? Well, because I actually think it's a decent lens that was just in the wrong place at the wrong time. But before I explain that, here's the lens. It's a 16 to 50 millimeter crop sensor lens with a constant f 2.8 aperture, internal focusing and weather sealing. All awesome things, right? It has a DA star designation, meaning it's the best of the Pindax APS-C lenses. And with that star comes some heavy expectations. It comes with a lens hood, a large 77 millimeter filter thread, and SDM focusing, the old kind that eventually dies on virtually everyone. But never fear, you can convert it to screw drive if need be, uh, like I have with my other two SDM lenses. But here's the thing, this lens is actually pretty dang good. I mean, look at these shots. You can share these online, you can print them. <laughs> well, of course you can, I'm just kidding. But the detail is there, the colors are there. These are good looking images. Wide open at f2.8, it's sharp enough in the center for some nice portraits. And there's good bokeh too. Wide open at 16 millimeters, it has some corner problems, but stopping down, I think it's very reasonable. This does not look like a cheap, low quality lens. The minimum focusing distance allows for some decently close shots, which I really like. So with all that said, why is the 16 to 50 millimeter the least liked DA star lens? I think it was a matter of high expectations, a high price tag, and better, cheaper competition. You see, many of the reviews here mention the high price, and I think that price we pay and expectations that makes for us can have an effect on the scores we give products. For example, an expensive lens might be rated really well because, well, for the price, it performs really well. In this case, this is an expensive lens rated poorly because for the price you expected even more. And I kind of agree. If I bought this lens for much more than I did, which was $200 by the way, I might be disappointed. It performs like a lens you would buy on the way to a pro lens and not a pro lens itself which is totally fine by the way, and as shown in my picture examples, performs really well. I don't think many people would be disappointed, except if you had expected a pro lens and you paid that pro lens price. Pentax Forms even has their own review pitting it against the cheaper Sigma 17 to 50 f2.8 lens, which outperformed this lens in almost every area, which probably only hurt this poor guy's reputation. But there's good news to all of this, and it's twofold. First, this lens is much cheaper on the used market nowadays, so if you want the extra bells and whistles like weather sealing, then I think it makes a nice $200 lens. I also heard from some snappiness form members that the Sigma 17 to 50 millimeters is a favorite, and that's around the same price or even less. And number two, for those that want pro level performance, Pentax just a few months ago released the new PLM version of this lens with a new optical formula new focusing motor and it seems quite good and is getting rave reviews. A proper DA star lens. Well that's it for this review, thanks for watching. Which Pentax lens would you like me to review next? I have some fun ones coming down the pipeline, let me know in the comments what you would like, and until next time, happy snapping.